Hello and welcome to another video. Opening some jump start again here, so let's get into it and see what we've got. Hopefully we can get some really good pulls. Got some good solid ones in the last one. Got that, that unicorn deck, which was really awesome. What have we got this time? Heavily armored. All right, let's see what's inside. Some of these are, are definitely better than others, and that's okay. There's a lot of good cards in here across the board, though. All right, so heavily armored. Get that set right up there. All right, we've got our rare is Cathar's Crusade. That's actually a really good card, especially because I'm looking to build a plus one <laughs> commander deck right now, and that's actually going to go very nicely in it. So there we go. I'm happy about that. That's a good card. Tempered Veteran. Gird for Battle. Put a plus one counter. I mean, this has got a lot of good plus one counter synergy in here, which is, is really cool. There are there is like a you know, there are some more even more synergistic plus one <laughs> jump start material out there, but this is this is pretty solid. Patron of the Valiant, Siege Striker, Double Strike, and then our commons: Secure the Scene, Battlefield Promotion, Bulwark Giant. I'll go through commons a lot more quickly. Trusty Retriever. That is a it's a really cool card. Ralph Horsley. He's a good artist. Um, he's got a, actually has a YouTube channel, so check him out if you want. He does like a, a whole like drawing, um, kind of like a walkthrough of how he draws his art, which is pretty cool. And then we've got Thriving Heath, Bastery's Acolyte, and our planes. Very cool. Got like a shield or something that's reflecting. And then our regular, regular old planes. There we go. All right, so that's heavily armored. So I can put that on top just like that. There we go. On to the next pack. Okay. Let's unwrap this one first without looking at it. So we can hopefully just dive right in. These are not the nicest little pieces of plastic to pull off there. And we've got dogs. <laughs> All right. Not the most exciting one personally, but that's okay. That's fine. We're kind of building up to it, right? <laughs> so we've got Pack Leader. It's just Dog Tribal, basically. Ooh, there we go, which is pretty cool. Pack Leader, other dogs you control get plus one. And when it attacks, prevent all combat damage, it would be dealt this turn to dogs you control. So obviously that can be very synergistic in the right, you know, the right uh, deck. We've got our legendary creature dog. It's just a two-two for one mana. So there you go. <laughs> I don't think that'll be commanding any commander decks of mine, but that's okay. Alpha Guard Hound, Dauntless Onslaught. Release the dogs. I actually pulled this card from the list in a uh, in a in an opening of a set booster. So check that out if you guys want to see that video. Um, that's also on my channel. I pulled the the list version. And I have the actual jumpstart version of that card and supply runners. Cool art on that card though. I do like the theme. Secure the scene. Alpine watchdog. Cather's companion. Rambunctious mutt. Trusty retriever again. Pacifism. Good card. Thriving heath. And our dog planes. There we go. Very cool art. He's got some butterflies flying in the field. That dog's just chilling there. I do love dogs on a personal level, so that's fine. Um, that's cool. Just not MTG-wise. It's nothing nothing to write home about or anything, but that's okay. Not a problem. Let's go for our next one. All right, our next jump start. Ha. What are we going to get this time? Let's see. Okay, we've got, drum roll, wizards, dun dun dun. All right, this one could be cool. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, Baron Talarian Archmage, nice. Actually did not have this card, so I'm very happy I got him. Very cool. Good old Talarian Academy lore going on right here. Um, check out Fantasy Geographic, another channel shout out I'll give you. He has some amazing lore and really goes into the whole story of Urza and Baron and and that whole deal with Joyra and Karn and Teferi and just all the all the classic like stories he's he's got on his channel. He does all kinds of lore too, so check him out. But anyway, on to this this opening. Baron Talarian Archmage enters the battlefield, return it to other one other target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent was put in your hand from the battlefield this turn, draw a card. And then some more Wizardry, Shipwreck Dowser, Tauron's Invocation, Wizard's Retort. Very cool art on there. It's got like a, a bubble around. That's, that's so cool. Bubble around the Academy. Reign of Revelation. And then Frost Breath. 
Medallion Arcanist, Sage's Rose Savant, Peel from Reality, Storm Sculptor, Thriving Isle, Read the Tides, and Teferi's Protege. And then our island, our wizard's island. Cool art right there. That's a good card. I like that. And regular islands. There we go. Cool. All right, we pulled wizards. Very nice. Next up. We can open the back. There we go. We'll open that one from the bottom. All right. Pull the tab. Rip this off. Rip that off. Flip it over. And we have Wizards again. Okay. Is this going to be the exact same one? Or are we going to... I think there's more than one variant of this. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a variant. Okay. Cool. We do have a variant. It's not the exact same one. This is Tauron Sky Summoner. Very cool card. Whenever you cast an instrument or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 blue drake creature token with flying. And then, Shipwreck Dazzler. A lot of the same cards. Exclusion Mage, Tolerance Invocation. I mean, if we did combine these two into a single deck, this would be like Wizards Overload. And that, that that's a strategy. I've seen that work before. Opt. That's a different one in here. The Dying Arcanist. Befuddle, I think, is also different in here. Sage's Rose Savant. Thriving Isle. Winged Words is not in the other one. Read the Tides. And the same island. With... Our common, regular. That's, I mean, that's a common island too, but you know what I mean. The non-jumpstart islands. All right, wizards times two. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Pack number five. And we have... Above the clouds. Blue. All right, let's see what's inside. And he has the Gale Force. Flying, legendary creature. Attacking creatures with flying get plus one, plus one until end of turn when you pay two and a blue or white. Whenever three or more creatures you control with flying attack, each player gains control of a non-land permanent of your choice, controlled by the player to their right. You could also go with wizards, some good synergy. We got blue, and these are flyers. Unsubstantiate, Warden of Evos Isle, Reign of Revelation, Tide Skimmer, Keen Glide Master, Roaming Ghost Light, Rookie Mistake, Capture Sphere, Wall of Runes, Thriving Isle, Mistral Singer, and Lofty Denial. And then here is our Above the Clouds Island. That is some cool art right there on a card. I approve. That is super sweet. Nice art. And the rest. All right. Couple more to go. If you're liking this video, please give a like below. That would be awesome. That'll really help me out. And subscribe if you want to see some more. I greatly appreciate the subscribers anytime I get them. And uh, who knows, you might get a little uh, personal shout out from me if you throw me a comment. All right, we have Vampires. Dun, dun, dun. Vito, Thorn of the Dust Groves. Yep, I actually have this card already, but that's cool. It's good in a, in a jumpstart environment. It's actually kind of a fun mechanic whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life that can be get pretty nasty pretty quick because you can also give all the creatures you control lifelink which is basically a game ender if you, if you have the right board state silver smoke ghoul blood artist that is a good card whenever blood artist or another creature dies target player loses one life and you gain one life blood bond vampire plus one counter synergy speaking of <laughs> from earlier gifted aetherborn death touch and lifelink Sanguine Indulgence, Agonizing Siphon, Eternal Thirst, Calistria Nightwatch, Last Gasp, Nocturnal Feeder, Thriving Moor. That is the first one of those I think I've pulled, so that's cool. Gloom Sower and our Vampire Swamp. That's pretty gloomy. That's, that's cool. I like it. With our standard swamps here. I don't think I've shown these art cards yet, so there you have them. All right. Two to go. Oh, let's see here. Okay, come on. One end always opens more easily than the other. If you guys notice that, if you if you open packs, do you do you have you notice any patterns like that? I feel like that's a pattern I've noticed. All right, what's our theme? Plus one. Let's go. I wanted a plus one pack because it's just got some good cards in it. And again, like I mentioned, I need for my, my commander building. I don't have to go out and seek them out one by one. I've just got them right here. And it's a jumpstart dex too. So there you go. All right, let's see what's inside. Branching Evolution. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. That is nice. That's one of the better cards in the entire set. That's, I, I cannot complain about that. I really can't. Branching Evolution, I think is like, I think it's like a $15 card or so right now, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, I think I'll put the price up on the screen here and yeah, you guys can see it. I love this card. This is exactly what I need in actually more than one of my decks. So that's cool. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature you control twice that many plus one plus one counters are put on that creature instead. There are so many ways that you can exploit this to get some crazy nasty effects. I am beyond happy. This entire video is is completely like everything in here is worth it because I pulled this card. This is one of the cards I personally wanted the most and it's also a really good card for the set. So yes, 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 yes. All right, let's get to the rest of the pack. Invigorating Surge. Put a plus one counter on creature you control then double the number of plus one counters on that creature. Also good. <laughs> Wildwood Scourge. And it's a Hydra, an, an X cost Hydra. I have a Zexara Hydra kind of plus one counter Hydra tribal deck, um, commander deck that I have, which is, this is, this is a great fit for that deck as well. Armorcraft Judge. When Armorcraft Judge enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature with a plus one counter on it. Nessie and Horn Beetle, the jumpstart version as well. I do have a different version of that card. It's already in that deck because that's a pretty awesome card. Truffle Snout. Hunter's Edge. A lot of good synergy in here. Pride Malkin. There's Cat. Arbor Armament. Fertilid, that's good. Good ramp, plus one synergy, all that good stuff. Iron Shell Beetle, Thriving Grove, there we go, nice card. And our plus one forest artwork, that's really cool. It's just like branching out and growing and getting bigger from this massive like tree root source. Good art, very well done, I like it. And our lands, very nice. Ooh, that's a cool art got like some light shining through there very very cool all righty i'm a fan of that pack i mean i don't know if i can if i can top that one that was that was pretty good we'll see what's in the last pack but that was solid i will take it what's your favorite card from jumpstart tell me that in the comments or what's the best thing you've pulled from jumpstart if you guys have pulled jumpstart i would love to hear what you've pulled has anybody pulled one of the allosaurus shepherds from that elf deck that card is like around a hundred dollars right now which is just absolutely insane maybe we'll get elves right here maybe this is elves we have like a one in 121 chance that it is i think so we'll see and bassery okay i'll take bassery yeah there we go get some planeswalker action let's go mythic there we go bassery cat legendary planeswalker his plus one loyalty is to put a plus one counter. Hey, I'm sensing a theme on up to one target creature and it gains indestructible until end of turn. That's useful. Minus two, whenever one or more non-token creatures attack this turn, create that many one, one white soldier creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. Or as ultimate is you get an emblem with at the beginning of your combat on your turn, create a one, one white soldier creature token, then put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Yeah, that's cool. Good card love it love that pull yay we've got bastry very cool and of course bastry's lieutenant right very very powerful card that's a that's a really powerful card in the right build that's just awesome tempered veteran siege striker faith's fetters bastry solidarity also good especially in this this build concordia pegasus this could go nicely with kind of like the unicorn deck as well. That might be a nice pairing with these. I mean, there's so many ways you can pair up and combine Jumpstart. It's a really cool, really well thought out product. I, I like it for casual players or for more serious players. I mean, it, it kind of works for everybody. That's just my opinion though. But yeah, I like Jumpstart. Feet of Resistance, Staunch Shield Mate, Knight of the Tusk. That's a cool card. Jumpstart, Legion's Judgment, Thriving Heath, and Bastery's Acolyte. And here we go. Here's our planes. M21 planes. There we are. Nice from the Bassery pack. There we go. Okay. Well, there it is. That was uh, that was all of our pulls. We've got eight total this time. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.